Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys in Clavio in a second with a screen share how to build a really high converting welcome flow. So the welcome flow is something that uh, basically generates the most amount of revenue for my clients out of all of the flows. Fairly consistently, sometimes very rarely, it gets beaten out by the abandoned checkout flow. Uh, but generally speaking, welcome flow dominates like all of the rest of the flows, right? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to build a really, really effective one. Uh, more importantly, help you guys answer the following questions in terms of how long it needs to be, as in like how many emails, what filters, uh, generally the best practices, uh, what offers work really, really well, all of that good stuff, right? So please, please, please watch till the end of this video because this flow alone can generate your store around like up to 10% in additional revenue, I'm not even capping here, right? I think the, the highest I've done is like 8% through this one flow. And uh, yeah, we'll jump right into the loom. So welcome flow, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna show you how to build it out live, some of the best practices, all of the filters, etc., etc. You might have noticed that there's a new logo in the bottom left-hand side. It's not my agency or logo. Did I plagiarize these slides from somewhere else or someone else? Absolutely not. It's actually the logo for my new course that's going to launch in a week and a half or so or two weeks, uh, depending on when you're seeing this video and when this video is being released. People have been asking me to create a course for over a year now, and uh, it's not an S SMMA, which is great. I love email marketing, SMMA, not as passionate about, right? So I've worked on this program for over two months. It's more than a course in terms of the support and uh, the various kind of like bonuses that I'm throwing in, but we'll keep that a secret for now. But yeah, just wanted to give, give you guys a heads up. So when it comes to the welcome flow, uh, super, super important flow, because this flow alone, as I said earlier, is uh, going to generate you up to 10% of your total stores revenue additionally through emails, if done right, right? So yeah, uh, let's talk about the general structure first. For the trigger, you want to make sure it's subscribes to main list or whenever they join that list. I'm going to show you guys how to sync it up with your sign up forms, etc. in the let's build section of this video. In terms of filters, you want to make sure to filter out anyone that that's actually placed an order uh, since starting this flow because then they should be exited out of the welcome series and entered into the customer thank you flows, right? In terms of length, I like to keep this three emails long and for each email, in email number one, it's gonna be a brand introduction plus the offer. Email number two is gonna be more so tailored towards social proof and talking about the benefits of your product and again, stressing the offer. And lastly, it's all about gonna be uh, cross-pollination plus offer urgency. So you might be wondering, Boyan, what the hell is cross-pollination? So cross-pollination is essentially when you're driving traffic from emails to other platforms that you also post content and engage with your following on. So that would be like a Facebook group, uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook page, TikTok even, that's being quite trendy at the moment. You're essentially cross-pollinating your list, expanding your circle of influence, trying to achieve a bigger omnipresence within your uh, list, right? So it's a really, really good email to have. So let's jump into the let's build portion of this video where I'll show you guys how to do this in Clavio itself. So uh, to build a welcome series that is incredibly high performing, you wanna first of all go to flows and then you wanna hit create a flow. Once you're in here, you're going to see flow ideas, right? So if you hit create flow and then if you type in welcome, so you're going to see a welcome series, uh, customer versus non-customer, customer versus non-customer again, etc., etc. The one that you want to do is you want to use standard, not the one with the green mark. So if you see not the Shopify one, the standard one, right? And you want to name it uh, just like welcome series is perfectly fine. And then for the trigger, so this is where you need to make sure it's the list that the person signs up to joins, right? So if I were to go to Clavio dashboard for performance, it's whatever the list on the sign up form is, right? So if I go into a sign up form real quick, uh, just to show you guys what I mean by this, if you click on the button that says subscribe, you're going to see list to submit, right? So it's submitting to the newsletter list, whatever this list is you need to make sure to connect it to the same list. So the trigger would be joins this list, right? So you wanna hit create a flow. Once you're in this section, it should load up three emails automatically. There's a few settings I like to change right away. So if all of the filters for your other flows are set up correctly, you can feel free to sit, uh, turn smart sending off. 
So smart sending is really for people who don't really know how to set up their filters in a way where it's like full spectrum. So uh, smart sending will basically skip over a recipient if they've received an email from you, let's say in the welcome series or whatever, whatever, fairly recently. I like to have this turned off and I like to have UTM tracking on, uh, but that's kind of just personal preference. Another personal preference is you can see here in terms of delay, they always make sure to delay until a specific time of day. Personally, again, I just, I just don't really like this because I don't see the point of it. So what I mean by this is if someone subscribes to your newsletter at 7 a.m. in the morning because they went on your website and they saw the form, guess what? Most likely they're going to be on their devices 7 a.m. roughly every day, right? So you want to be sending the email around that specific time. And there's no point in delaying the email to a specific time of day for every single one of the emails, right? And in terms of delays, I like to set this as one day. And then for this, I like to have two days. Reason being is because you want to like stretch out the cycle as long as possible, right? You don't want to send them three uh, emails back to back to back every single day. You want to stretch out slightly. So again, you can see um, take off the delay. And for these ones, you want to hit... Uh, edit, edit settings, and then you want to turn smart sending off and UTM tracking on, and then do the same for this one as well. So this is the general setup I have. The only thing I would add is a flow filter. So flow filters is really, really important, right? So for example, by the way, flow filters are important for any flow. It's not just this one. So the flow filter here you need is what someone has or has not done, uh, placed order, zero times since starting this flow. So you want to make sure that people are not placing orders and still staying in this flow because if they bought on let's say email number one then they should be taken out of this flow and placed into the customer thank you series right. So yeah that's it in terms of how to actually build it. Now one prerequisite if you want your welcome flow to be high converting the prerequisite is you need to have a high performing lead capture or sign up form right. If there's no one joining that list and if the intention of people joining that list is not very high then there's no point in sending this flow entirely right because no one's seeing the emails. So in the description below I'm going to include a link to a video that I made showing you guys how to create the highest converting uh, pop-up form possible for your e-commerce brand and the various offers that you can include. So check that out, links in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really enjoy my content and if you've been subscribed for a while, I would really be on the lookout for the program on email marketing that I'm dropping simply because if you're a brand that's starting out, I've had to turn down quite a few brands that have come organically to me through YouTube simply because you guys aren't at a size where it would make sense financially for us to work together. So this program is really going to help those smaller brands out there, those dropshippers out there, and also more importantly, a large majority of my audience is still in the agency space. If you're looking to fulfill a service and you're not really sure how because all of the programs you bought are about client acquisition, this program is for you guys. So thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Link in the description for the pop-up form video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.